Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. This video is all about how you can use ExpressVPN to access the internet in China. So we'll talk about why you need a VPN in the first place in China, if you're not familiar, and more specifically about why your choice should be Express anyway. By now you might already be familiar with the great firewall of China, but the reason you need a VPN for China is a secondary firewall, which is essentially what causes all of this censorship. It's basically the filter that determines what can and cannot be seen on the internet while you're in China. So this is where a VPN comes in because when you're in China or if you're gonna be in China, having ExpressVPN will make sure that you still have access to the real internet so that you can access your bank account, social media, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, WhatsApp, etc. All of these are censored there, but a VPN is gonna make it really simple for you to use the free internet in China. I'll get into why Express is the top choice in a second, but there are a couple things to know before using the internet in China. It's a much better idea to install ExpressVPN before you go there which is also cheaper if you use the discount through the link in the description. Most VPNs, they require quite a bit of manual configuration to get them to work in China, but with ExpressVPN, you really don't have to do much. Also, we've tested Express with China Telecom and China Mobile, so either of these are recommended for it to even work there at all. And if you're already in China, this URL on the screen and down below is an alternative link that ExpressVPN provides for people that live in China so they can still download it. But still, if you're not in China, I'd recommend downloading it before before you get there. Now, the reason I chose ExpressVPN is because it's simply the best for China. There are a bunch of reasons for that, honestly, not just because it's incredibly easy to use. So let's say you download it on any of your devices, which you can add up to eight, by the way. You can simply go to the locations and click any of these servers, and then you can just turn it on like that. And that's basically it, though maybe you want to understand a little bit about the features. If you want to follow along with me already, the links with discounts to Express are in the description down below. So as you can tell, it has a kill switch called Network Lock. So this kill switch cuts off your internet connection if the VPN disconnects unexpectedly, which could be very useful in China, and your VPN disconnects for whatever reason Reason, it'll also disconnect you from the internet so that the CCP, your internet service provider, or whichever body in China won't be able to know what you're doing online because you're not going to be connected to the internet in the first place. So that's basically what a kill switch does. Now, split tunneling allows you to choose which applications are routed via the VPN and which are not. So let's say that you only want your Google Chrome to use the VPN in China while everything else is still left on the Chinese network. You can also select specific applications to not use the VPN while the rest use the VPN. For example, let's say there's a specific application that needs a Chinese IP address for it to work, then you can kind of exclude that app using split tunneling. Split tunneling is unfortunately unavailable on iOS or Mac for all VPNs, so just keep that in mind. But otherwise, you can just use this advanced protection to block any malicious stuff. And if you go to protocols in China, I just recommend keeping this on automatic. In this case, you won't be able to turn on advanced protection, but that's fine. You can just turn all of these off, go to the protocols and keep it on automatic to make sure that you have access to ExpressVPN. Ultimately, I like using ExpressVPN because it ends up being a very effective VPN with the high performance that attracts people like me who already know about VPNs. And it attracts many users because of the simple interface and the way it works, which is very sleek and uncomplicated. It works with streaming services too, of course, and doesn't have any bandwidth limitations or throttling when you're trying to torrent. And you can be sure that they won't share your data because they have a no logs policy that was actually proven not only by independent audit reports, but they also had a Turkish government seize the server. So unfortunately for them, they were unable to get anything off the server thanks to ExpressVPN's true no logs policy. So you can be sure that ExpressVPN is not gonna share information with anyone, even if their servers were just seized because well, they don't have any info about you in the first place, so that's great. And that's why I recommend ExpressVPN for China specifically. I mean, it works great for all the other countries, but specifically for China, if you're looking for a VPN that works reliably and consistently more than any other VPN out there, I recommend ExpressVPN. You don't even have to be traveling to or living in China to want a reliable VPN, but in case you end up going there, you'll be set because this app will always give you access to the free and normal internet like you're used to. So. 
that's basically it. There's a bunch more details if you're interested in Express and you can find the full reviews and links to pricing and discounts in the description down below. If you wanna save the most money and know you want a VPN whether you're going to China or not, I recommend getting a longer term plan in order to avoid overpaying for something when you really don't have to. The longer term plan plus the discount link is gonna give you a way better deal than a month to month plan which just ends up costing more, so don't be a sucker. And if you change your mind or realize you don't need it that long, you can always get a refund during the first 30 days and go back to just a month at a time plan. So that settles it for today. Express is the VPN to go for if you're going to China. Again, you'll find the discount down below and please comment as well if you have anything to add or any questions. Like and subscribe to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. So thank you guys so much again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.